I'm so excited about my new pony. What's up, Flomies? It's nice to see you guys. I'm excited to get started on this day. If you are new here, I'm Fallon. You are the Flomies, and if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, ding that little notification bell, because at 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna change a Flomies life. Um, so the update from last night is, Annie is definitely my rodeo ranch dog, because Flynn has decided that Annie is not welcome here. It was an all-night battle. They kept us up for half the night of the dogs just circling the wagons of which one could demand which part of the rug to sleep on. So, poor Annie. Hi, Annie. Yeah, it's so tay. It's all right. So today is a whole lot of riding horses. We're gonna go to a jackpot tonight. Hopefully I won't have to break anything on my horse trailer for us to be able to get there. And then I'm gonna take this with me. I literally do not like any flavor as much as this flavor right here. Not even like a lemon girl, but Brainbridge Lemon Drop is truly the greatest flavor that Mansports has ever made. So make sure to use code Fallon at checkout when you go to mansports.com. Brainbridge I recommend to anybody that is doing really boring work, is having a hard time concentrating, has ADD and anxiety before you run, Brain bridge. That is my magic. All right, I'm gonna get my booty in gear and see if the tie-dye fairy will let us ride at her place again today. Um, yeah, I wanna ride in some shade because uh, I don't wanna get any tan lines for the weddings coming up. So, I'm gonna see about doing that. If you guys did not see me breaking into my own trailer, it looked a little something like this. Mm, what you say? All right, let's get to the ranch and play with some horses. I'm here at High Point Ranch picking up a baby in a box. This is the cold semen that I'm going to use um, to breed my mare pearl snap. So I'm very excited. She's a breeder today. So here we go. I am breeding her to Shawnee Bug Leo. I've bred several of my horses this year to Shawnee Bug Leo. So I'm really excited. I'm super pumped about it. Cross cross your fingers that all works out amazing. I am finally to the ranch and a lot of people have sent in stuff for me to review after I did my tack review that I did a long time ago. If you haven't seen that, it's linked in the description below. But I did get a big box of goodies from Five Star. Now, I did not pay for these. These were sent in for me to review. So if you've got products to send in for me to review, here is my PO box right here. You can send those in. And I will tell you my honest opinion. I am not being paid in any way my opinion on these and I've never taken them out of the box. Horseshoers here too. So here's what I received. We'll go through all the things I got. This matches my copper pad with turquoise. I love that. And then I got a hot pink and black pad. So cute. And then I got a royal blue pad from them. So I love that they sent stuff to go with that. Here are their bell boots. These look really simple. Like, I'm really into these so far. I haven't put on on a horse yet, obvi, but these look money to me. They also sent some more stuff, which I'm really excited. This is so cute. Look how cute. I love that. And it's tooled with the same tooling as my saddle pad. I love the size of that. I love this. Hey. That's a good it's size. Perfect for my sports saddle. Yeah. It's perfect. Because we just said all of it's ours so are too hard. big. And look, check this halter out. That is freaking fabulous. I love that. I love that. I've never really used a halter made out of this stuff, so I don't know how durable it is, but my tack set that I currently have is super dur durable that I got by another company. That is so cute with the pink boots. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. With the pink and black cinch. And the pink. I'm in love with this stuff. That's really, really cute. I love that. I got another pair of bell boots. And it looks like I got some merch. If you guys haven't gotten your merch on yet, make sure to go to shopthemerch.com. Be sure to use your favorite squad members code at checkout to get a discount. I don't want you guys to miss all that new new coming in. And the fear collection is on its way back in with added new colors. So I'm very excited. Maybe one comment below. I'm going to have you win one of these bad boys so comment your favorite thing in this bundle below and i will give one of you flomies one of these caps so this stuff looks really great let's put it to the test i have a new horse here that i've never ridden before so i don't really know her preferences 
think I'm going to use this top repair because it goes with my classic pad really well. And it isn't too crazy colored. So right off the bat, I think what, what I'm looking at is these double straps. I'm probably going to love these. I'm used to them being a little bit further south on the boot. So I want to make sure that I really, really like that. Now, I do love these little tabs. I think those are awesome. I won't know until I get it on a leg if I love it or don't love it. But I will tell you guys. And I'll tell you something I do love about the inside of this boot. I noticed last night on some fancier boots, some things that they've done structurally inside the boot. I think I like just the simple, the simple, like, just neoprene. Like, it's super, super light. And I think I really like this because the more stuff that there is structurally inside the boot, the more places dirt can get and get caught up in. So let's put them on. I'm not sold yet, but let's see what we got. These are cute. I like them. I do too. The logo is huge. We can talk about the logo is huge. Yeah. That's a like at first you're a little like It's a lot. Low. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. If it were maybe in a more demure color, it would be, but right at first you're like, whoa. So this is size large. This horse would probably need a size medium. So I wouldn't completely judge it. Okay, right off the bat, the Velcro is not too sticky. And that is something I do really like. It's not so sticky. I will say that this boot is just a little tall for her. Again, she shouldn't be wearing a large. She should be in a medium. So I don't think that's really the boot's fault. I think that's more the fault of her just having the wrong size. I got those tight around the bottom. I think that these are less of a suspensory type strap and more of a secure so dirt doesn't get in the bottom feeling for me. And that works too. Now this, I have to tell you, I'm in love with these. Cause these are just really light. Like I do not like the thought of me running around with cement bricks on my feet. And I don't like the feeling for my horses either. So I'm just gonna throw this on. This horse just got here today. Literally got off the trailer 10 minutes ago and she has not been trimmed in a long time. So do not judge her feet. My shoer is gonna do her next, but I wanted to fit everything on her really quick. These fit amazing. These are like, these are amazing. I love these bell boots. Okay. We're gonna see if they twist and turn. If they do, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, I love the bell boots. I'm gonna be buying a lot more of them. I'm so excited about my new pony that I brought on to make this whole BRC course. I'm really, really excited. I'll show you guys a little run. She was so good. Especially for day one, she is fat and out of shape, but that was really, really fun and in split reins, it was like a challenge. So my thoughts on the five star boots was, we looked them up to see kind of what their price point is. For me, for them to be a hundred bucks, I feel like they're a little pricey. The upside of that is they do exactly match my pad. So if that's the thing I'm into, they are crocodile and they do exactly match my pads. So that is a very, very custom thing. These are custom boots. So I feel like you're gonna pay for that. Um, but on the cheaper side of practice boots, I'm definitely not gonna use these to practice in now that I know that they are a hundred bucks a pair. Now that is standard protocol for splint boots, um, but let's do the ultimate test and see how much dirt is in them. For me, I'm probably only gonna use these on very special occasions because they're a higher end boot and they do match my pad that I bought from them exactly to a T. Um, but it is gonna cost me 200 bucks to put, polo, to put splint boots all the way around. And that's kind of why I go back and forth between polos and splint boots because it costs me like 20 bucks to do polo wraps and then like 200 to do splint boots. So I'm always kind of torn. Um, let's see how much dirt got in the boot. This is the true test of things. And this will, will tell us if these actually, these straps actually matter. There's like no dirt in the boot. There's this little tiny bit. So I guess you could say like for a higher end boot, it did do the job. I would have liked it to be shorter, like I said, because I feel like that would have um, fit her a lot better. The Bell Boots are $35 online. Again, if they give me a coupon code, I'm gonna give them to you guys so that you can get these a little bit cheaper. These are 35 bucks retail. I feel like um, I love them. If I'm gonna go out and buy some, I'm probably gonna buy this boot, even though I know that there is a cheaper version available. This splint boot, I'm kinda on the fence about. Bell boots, I'm pretty in love with, but I would love them if they were on sale, if that if that makes any sense to you guys. Maybe I'm just a bargain hunter. I just, um, I love the boot. I think that of the boots that are on the market, these are gonna be in my top two. 
as far as fit. You'll see that these twisted around pretty good. And I'm glad that I used them on this horse that has terrible, terrible feet right now, that are in terrible condition, because she was kind of hitting all over the place, which a horse with really bad feet will do. That's why I took it really easy. But you'll notice there is a little bit of dirt in here, which there should be. And the boot, I don't know, man. The fit, I just feel like I, I feel like I really love this boot. I feel like I would pay $35 for this boot. As far as these go, eh, do they match perfectly? Yeah. I don't know that I would jump up and down to pay a hundred bucks for them. I don't know. I do like the boot. I just wish they were just a little bit shorter. I'm a huge fan of something that is really, really short. There's a lot more dirt in this boot, but compared to a traditional boot, I'd have to say it's a lot less. So overall is I'm going to give the five star boots a three stars, mainly just because of price. And that would be probably my only thing. I'm going to give the bell boot a four star only because of price. Other than that, I think they would be a five-star pair of boots. Literally, like actually, two thumbs up. I am so sweaty and gross and sunburned. I made it to the jackpot. There is the jackpot rig. All of the babies work so, so good. And my new little mare that I'm gonna ride today, she needs lots of tettling. So I'm going to the arena to tettle her to the arena, to the trailer, to tettle her before we run. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I'm filming my journey for BRC so that everybody can learn how to have a barrel horse on a budget and how to ride them and have fun. And I'm doing this for everybody, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. Cody is making her farewell ride on Shady before her auction. We're all gonna enjoy tonight. The weather is really, really good. So Shady's auction is gonna be tomorrow night actually ends tomorrow night. It starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow at facebook.com forward slash Fallon Taylor store. Bidding starts at just a thousand bucks, so you might be able to get a bargain too. The Shady is so beautiful, so Cody is gonna make her very last run on her tonight, and then she gets her new step up pony tomorrow. So I'm gonna jump on my little Frasier. I haven't figured out a name for her yet, but she is Sorrel with a star. She's a mare, she runs left. I'm super excited because she fits right in with all of our bunch of gingers, so. I'm stoked. Let's go see how it goes. Look at that widow rodeo doggy, which is Annie. So she's officially on the ranch. And then she came with me because she's a rodeo dog now. So my little ranch Chiquita is a house doggy. And her house doggy is now my ranch doggy. So it's really good. Really nice. Okay, you stay put. We're going to go run bears. Of course, I always protect my melon. A variation of this turquoise amazing helmet is going to be out on TraxelHelmets.com so soon. And they do give you free shipping if you want to go ahead and go shop over there. You get a little, you get a discount and you get free shipping if you um, use code Fallon at checkout. So don't forget to protect your noggin. Don't do it after it's too late. Do it now. I love this thing. <laughs> second and a 1D. Yes. And then my new pony did real good. Cody rode her tail off. Jesse almost where died. This is I make the vlog. Yeah. Right here. During Jessie the Jesse almost got dead. Did you want to yeah. tell him what happened? Um, don't I never wore, never wore a belt in the arena again. I ooh, I broke my finger. Ooh. Yeah. Nail. nail. And then <laughs> I will have a uh, saddle pad review to give you guys. Oh, snap. She said she's going to go hit y'all with the truth. Let's get <laughs> 
That's all I Here, have. I look I so good. <laughs> but then you recovered. Yeah. yeah. She set the third barrel up. So many moments. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Okay, that is it. Okay, if you don't already know, get subscribed, turn the notifications on because we are doing something crazy every single day up in here. Uh, Cody is gonna get a new horse tomorrow, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. Did you name your horse? I did name my horse. My horse's name is Desi. Desi. It's like kind of short Spanish for fainting. <laughs> like a fainting. <laughs> like a fainting goat. I didn't know she, had a, say it. she had a bit of an issue right when she got to the house. She just laid down and we were like, oh my God, is it dead? Yeah. And no, it's not dead. Our vet it was, was just there. Like a, yeah, our vet was there. was there. It was like a fainting goat. Anyway, funny story. Wish we had blogged it. Stay tuned. Stay in here. All right, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to, to count, count your blessings, blessings drink your protein, protein and say thank, thank you to Jesus. Jesus. See you tomorrow. That was a lot of bun.